everybody. Today we have MSI Modern 14 laptop. So we'll take it apart. We'll see what we can upgrade, fix or repair. Let's start. Let's start with the bottom screws. There's one screw here under the seal. Now we have to pry off the bottom case. So find a space where you can put the prying tool in between the case and the palm rest. Now work your way around the edge to unhook all of the clips. Okay, the bottom is out. Now we have access to all the components. Let's start with disconnecting the battery. Actually, first take out all the screws. It will be easier to disconnect the battery. One more screw here, next to the SSD drive. So, to disconnect the battery, pry off the connector. That's our battery. Here we should have the part model number. Now, let's take out our, our storage. So this is your SSD drive. If your system doesn't boot, shows that there is no boot, boot device or you would like to upgrade storage to the bigger one that's how you do it that's the nvme drive here we have the wi-fi and uh, card so you can replace it if your wi-fi doesn't work start with disconnecting the antenna unscrew one screw Now we can take out the Wi-Fi card. Here we have the model part number. Now let's check the memory. So here under that cover, we have memory. Spread it arms, and my memory will t uh, jump out. That's the DDR4 memory. So you can upgrade it or replace it if it doesn't work. Uh, now let's take out the cooling heat sink and fan. So if your laptop is overheating or the fan is making grinding noise or doesn't sp spin, replace these parts. So there's this Wi-Fi antenna here. Let's disconnect it. Now we can take out the heat sink, disconnect it from the fan, from the motherboard. Here we have our part number. Be careful when you take out the heat sink, don't bend it. It will not work if you bend it. Um, now let's disconnect all the cables from the motherboard. That's our video cable for the screen.
Now let's take out all the screws for the motherboard. Disconnect the speaker. Okay, one more connector here. Okay, let's see if we can pull out the motherboard. So there is one more screw here and exactly on the opposite side. Okay, and the motherboard is out. Now let's take out the hinge screws for the screen. Now unfold the hinges so we can disconnect the palm rest. And then, so that's our keyboard touchpad palm rest assembly. Looks like we could replace the touchpad if we need to, but you cannot replace the keyboard. It's riveted to the palm rest, so you have to buy the whole palm rest touchpad assembly. We can replace the speakers. Okay, so these are our speakers. So if your sound is bad, you can replace it. Okay, so that's our panel touchpad keyboard assembly. If you need parts, check gatlaptopparts.com. And here we have our screen left, usually sold in one piece. That's the model part number. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.